This week, Channel 12 News reported that the state of Rhode Island and HP Enterprises had inked yet another contract to put even more money into the new Department of Motor Vehicle software package and IT system overhaul. The original agreement was made in 2008 for an $8.1 million project to be delivered in 2010. Now we're talking a bit more than twice that dollar figure when the system is all done, maybe a year from now. Are you kidding me? Part of the reason it's so much fun to visit the DMV is that you get another chance to be a victim of the agency's quaint 35-year-old digital systems. That's the main reason it takes forever to get anything done as a retail customer. The long sad story behind the development of the replacement system is one of ever-changing customer specifications, constantly evolving levels of technology, and bureaucratic ineptitude. Sure, the vendor bears some responsibility for this debacle. The contract went through the hands of three different corporate entities and outlasted the life cycles of at least a couple of hardware technologies. The real problem was with the Rhode Island state government, though. Three different administrations had a hand in mucking things up, and all the way along, no one in state government really knew what they were looking at, so no really effective actions were taken to move the project ahead. Now that we have yet another contract in place, we'll follow the progress of the development to its new projected completion date of September 2016. For my money, though, it's not a lack of institutional wisdom on digital technology that doomed the bureaucracy. It's more of an attitude of not really caring about making project waypoints on time and providing testing and transactional support to the developer. This is too big and complex a technical expansion to be left in the hands of folks who go home at 4.30 every day. The state workers charged with overseeing this project were not invested in it at all, nor were they interested in putting in nights, weekends, and holidays to get it done. That's a problem of corporate culture that would be a sea anchor on any customer-vendor relationship. Until some real leadership changes that lethargic norm, all will be able to say when reviewing the pro progress of any complex effort by state government is... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Find us on Cox Channel 15 or Verizon Channel 34, Saturday at 4 p.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on the web at www.gaspyproject.com slash Common Sense Rhode Island. Like us on Facebook at Common Sense RI and follow us on Twitter at at sign common sense all right